so hi everybody and welcome to this vlog you can call it i don't know and it's a high time for me to say i hope you all enjoyed your christmas had a good time had great presents i know a lot of people they wait for christmas to get great presents and I hope you all did what you wish to do or wish to have wish to get on Christmas Christmas time well as for me I am happy I am satisfied whatever I had I didn't uh, do much uh, okay with cooking eating going out to eat was great we didn't do no big presents if you haven't watched my video go back to my video and watch it on Chris, Christmas Eve or the second day of Christmas I guess that was the video uh, I didn't we didn't do much gifting we just keep it really low because as I say it was a time to give back to people they need it the most so I say that I don't want to go in deep as I did a video already so you can go back and watch it if you wish to and today I want just to have a chat you know I made my hair I think I love it how what do you think yeah it's looking pretty I wanted to to take some photos with my hair and some clothes I sewed and I did some photo shooting yesterday by the way I will put everything on this video so make sure you watch it to the end and well I was uh, this year was really kind of rough I can say in somehow well let me introduce myself if you haven't got it right until now i am original from kenya i was born in kenya and i came here when i was like a teeny or whatever it is to my teenager after my teenager or something i was still young so when i came to germany i was by myself i came my, by myself and life was favored to me from the first time we beginning although we had I had a really rough time uh, with people with German people some of them because at that time they were still really like okay in the place I live there were no black people so they couldn't get along with black people but not the place I live they like most of the time they outer uh, villages what you call them you know so when I came here I started uh, although I had a profession already like I was I really had my college I did my college finished my college you know I started school early and I finished school really early so I did hotel management which which I was working in some nice hotels when I was in Kenya and after that when I came here I started uh, to learn my language I had to do something where I can interact with people and which was not even hotel because hotel then you have to know how to speak German and all blah 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 by that time whether although now they also take people with English speaking language but but then they were not really they wanted someone who can speak German so I really took myself down and I did some few jobs I started with a uh, kindergarten where I, I I went there really I love going there and but the thing is I had a problem with 
are mothers who are really racist. They really hated seeing me there. Can you imagine telling their kids when this woman tells you anything, tell her to go back to Africa? And that's what they used to tell the kids. And you know, when you look at those women, they're women who can't even take care of their kids. They don't do nothing the whole day. They drop their kids to the kindergarten and they just go put their feet on the sofa or on the couch, watch TV the whole day until they pick the kids. They don't even cook, they don't clean, they do do nothing. And then they want to tell you because you come and you're hardworking, you come and take the job. They don't want to take those jobs at all. They don't want to do nothing and they want to tell you they're jealous and they can't see you doing that job. And you know what I told them? One day I walked to them and I told them, if you think this black woman cannot be good enough for your kid, keep your kid at home with you. You don't have to bring them here. And since that day they were, they didn't even say nothing. They come, they stand on the corner, they talk together, they're looking at me and they just, but you know it didn't bother me because i knew what i really wanted so one day there was one of the of the teachers in kindergarten who really <laughs> had a problem you know when somebody brings his private problems at work it's really bad so one thing i think she didn't know that i really understood much more than i could talk so she really started like she wanted really she was like bullying me for real and i was like hell no what the hell so one day we got into it really into it and you know i got into it with her because i couldn't stand her shit no more i really gave it to her not of german but of english because that time i couldn't speak fluent german so I really gave it to her and you know what, I told to myself, why should I do this anyways? You know, this is not what I'm wishing to do. Why should I do this? I was just doing it for me to learn my, my, my language, but not to let people put me down like this. So then, then she, she decided, okay. I decided to move out to get out not to go back anymore so i i didn't just sit at home i just looked around to get some uh things but still by that time i already did like a language class one language class or something and yeah i decided to learn by doing so i learned a lot from tv because i was watching it on german language so I learned it from my language from there also speaking to people talking around to people and I learned my language really quick so after 10 went on you got a lot of temptation here and there with people here around working you know you're not on your originator area so people will try to push you push a lot so by then when I came here first of all I didn't know how to sew and I hated this clothing they were sold around they had boring colors you know like we in Africa we have colors colors for colors and colors you come here most of the time you just see gray black dark colors in here and there and you know it's I and you know like we African people we have a little bit of figure kind of so things don't don't fit really well when it fits on the bottom it doesn't fit on the waist i don't know what you know things were just not there and by the time i was really slim really really slim i think i was only um 48 to 50 kgs that's how tiny i was so then i just thought to myself okay this is crazy so i just decided you know when i was i remember when i was back home my sister my older sister i always say rest in peace girl i really miss you and my sister used to make sure that we 
she she used just to draw something and she take it to a seamstress the seamstress make a measurement and she makes clothes for us so it was easy for me because for her she used to do all this this stuff when i came here and i thought okay if my sister could do that i think i could do better so instead of taking things to the seamstress i decided to take so classes so i started with the sewing classes but actually they went on boring because whatever the woman was teaching i think i knew it all <laughs> you know i'm a too much you know person so i need something which can keep me keep my my attention can keep me um curious to okay what's the next move what the next move but whatever she was learning she was trying to show us was nothing i i want to sew my own style you don't tell me to go and buy a pattern and copy the pattern i don't do that i'm coming with my own style i want us to do the process so i didn't get what i could get from her so after that i decided to quit so i started sewing here and there and going to evening classes and boom after some years yes i started sewing my own not even after some years after some months I'm, I know I made mistakes, but I learned from my mistakes because I didn't make the same mistake twice. I really, uh, when I think back, I waste of money. I wasted a lot of money with the fabric, which I cut wrong. I did something wrong and I had to start over. Sometimes I couldn't fit. I had to get a new one. And I mean, but I learned from my mistake, but now I'm like a profit. I make everything I want when I see something like a fashion, I see it and I think I love it. I know I don't have to buy it. I can just sew it myself. And that's what makes me happy all the time to design and sew clothing. And actually working around all the time about this, running around for people, you know, that's why I had a YouTube channel. Okay we can call it i don't know what i could call it it was not a really youtube channel it was just a an account like anybody else has an account who just wanted to watch video watch music so i my main thing on youtube i loved music so the only thing i was doing on my account was watch music watch music watch music and one time i started seeing some tutorials here and there and i was thinking about her okay people do this on youtube so people i see people doing tutorials about makeup seeing people doing um all kind of tutorials and i thought to myself what are you doing but i didn't have time to sit down and do that because i had a lot of people who really depending on me here and there i worked hard to make sure uh school fees is paid back home here and there uh, people like getting sick it's me everything you know like I was all around person to to help people every corner so, some friends having problems here and there I was there so always I was there for people so this year come this year and I thought to myself okay I think it was really pushed by um, I had a situation where I had a long, 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 long friend. I mean, okay, let's put things clear here. There are things in life you don't have to drag them for so long. No, don't do it. I have learned for myself. You know one thing? I have this thing. When my heart tells me something, it always true. So... You know, sometimes when your head is just telling you different thing. And that's what happened. So I had this friend, like, like every time I just, my heart is telling it, that person is just not good for you. Not good for you. Not good to you. I had really a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But you know what? My head was like, hold on. Hold on. God, hold on. And that was the worst thing I could ever do. But so we had really a lot of conflicts here and there a lot of them and at the end of the time i had to really take a cut 
a really cut. So when I had a cut and I thought to myself, okay, it's time for me to do really things I wanted to do. And then I thought of my YouTube channel. And so I started doing things here and there a little bit with my YouTube channel. I do sometimes tutorial, I do some videos, I let it, I do this, I do let it. And then here comes a time, I think the end of, like, I used to take care of my, the thing is, I used to take care of my, my German mom, and she used to consume a lot of time for me. I couldn't have time for myself, because she takes every time my time, nothing I could ever do. She will, she is 93 until now. I think you've seen my video. She is now in a old people house. And since then, now after it came at around after, I think I started then doing things like my, may, may I started doing, you know, concentrating on my sewing more and after that, I did more sewing, some few stuff, and I remember, but I was not happy still. I was not happy. I was feeling so guilty. I was crying a lot because I felt like it was wrong taking her to the old people house. And then at the end of the time, I went and took her again out, brought her home. Damn girl, that was the worst ever thing did in my life she was really bad news she was being aggressive we had a, a, a woman to help me take care of her she didn't accept the woman she threw the woman out of the house and mostly in the evening it was drama 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 and nobody was happy in the house nobody because it's always something always every day people were a lot people were every time mad nobody is like happy in the house everybody was like i don't know and i thought to myself hell no is this the life you want mm -mm. so we had to change the situation really quick so we had to cut to do a cut and make sure that we get another space that way we can take her back so they were like oh no we have no space or blah blah, blah. but god, thanks god you know when god is always with you they will listen to your prayers and after two days they called us again after she was here like three weeks in the house after we made a call because at first we wanted to take her to another place but i thought okay i don't care let's take her back the same place and the same place where she was they didn't have no space but then thanks god after calling them after two days they call us back and say yeah we have a space when do you want to bring her and i'm like okay which dates do you have yeah we have so and so and then i thought okay let her let her stay like a week again and blah blah because i still wanted to hold her and she was so crazy. She was becoming more and more, making our lives really crazy. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm not waiting for the later date. We are taking her the early date. So then time come, we took her back and our lives went to normal and we had we having great time everybody has their own time my son is in the university he's studying and I I thought to myself okay now it's time to take my YouTube channel serious that's when I started doing some videos here and there but like December this December is the time I took my YouTube channel really serious where I consequently I did the videos vlogmas every day I shared how my life goes what I do not only sewing what I cook during the day 
what you know how my life going on and i hope now people get to know me and watch my videos follow me like them and the next is history i'm sure so that's how my life is and the thing is i realize that sometimes you don't really need people around you to be happy you don't need those like those call on friends who are not really friends i think a friend a really friend won't lie to you a really friend is faithful and there for you the way you are there for them a really friend listen and not like just always giving it excuse and that's why i feel like i better be by myself alone alone and i'm happy alone more than being with people i call friends and they're just nonsense they're just using you they just they are just to know what you're doing in your life and when the things goes wrong they're just happy and they're laughing at you behind your back so what do you need those friends for you don't need them that's why you need yourself and if you can't keep yourself happy with what you have with what you do i'm telling you you are the happiest person more than having those people who take your time and you don't get nothing out of it and just wasting your time at the same time so i hope you enjoy this video you learned something from it and i will see you in the next one i just wanted to make some photos with my outfits some of the outfits i made as well i have this like a skirt with a band and it has a top as well with an open back and like a v front and this one i wanted to make some photos with it and then i wanted some photos as well i'm sure i hope it will go good because in german right now it's crazy because every time it's dark it's dark it's dark and with without lights without putting some lights and doing it's it doesn't work and i don't like photos with lights i love really natural light but when it doesn't work it doesn't work you have to do what you have to do to make it work so i'm going to try to take some pictures some photos and i will see you to the next one bye bye oh. I will be showing you some styles, some styles um, with my outfits that I sewed and combining them with some I didn't sew myself. So, like, I'm going to combine uh, these boots. I have some few stuff I have here. I have these shorts. The shorts I made them myself. I sold them. These two shorts and this cut. So I want to just make some nice um, outfit combination, and then I had to choose this corner here because. I don't have any other place and I don't feel like going out so that you can see what is my outfit. What do you think?
Kick. Mm-hmm.